It's Sunday morning. The announcement went out. You need help in the nursery. You're standing at the back door after church. You've got the clipboard. You're ready to get people signatures. And people avoid you like you have the plague. Okay, they are all over the church except for around you because they know you're asking for help. Or maybe it's VBS time and you need extra help with crafts or setting things up or tearing down. You've got a little display out in the lobby and no one wants to come say hi. Okay, they're all afraid of you because they know you're asking for help. And, you know, I was talking to a kids director the other day who told me when they first started out in kids ministry that they were all gung-ho and excited. And they asked everybody for help all the time. And they honestly just got tired of being told no over and over and over again. So they got to the point they quit asking. And now a year later, they're tired. They're exhausted. They don't have enough coverage to get through a single Sunday. They're having to do everything themselves. They don't know what to do. Well, the simple truth is you have to ask for help. And here's why. I was on staff at a large church several years ago, and we were going through a $20 million building fund campaign. Yeah, that's a lot of millions, right? And in the midst of that, I learned that everybody fits into one of three categories. You see, there are people who are willing, but not able. There are people who are able, but not willing. And there are people who are willing and able. Let me explain that a little bit. You see, there are some people who are willing to give millions, but they're on government assistance. Yeah, they're not really able to give very much, are they? Then there's people who are able. They have lots of money in the bank, but you're not getting a penny of it. They're able, but not willing. And you find a few who are willing and able. And with them, you can do all kinds of things in a building campaign. But for me, it goes beyond that. It's more than just talking about money and finances. It's how I look at volunteers. You see, when I look at volunteers, I put them to that same filter. I've got volunteers who are willing, but I don't really know what they're able to do. And so I try plugging them in different spots, try finding that place. They don't really have an ability to connect with parents. So I have them maybe hang out in the nursery. I find that spot where their willingness can have a place to help them serve. I have some people who are able, but they're just not willing. So I have to sell them on the vision. I have to explain to them why we serve in kids ministry, get them to serve just once a month and make that difference where their ability is able to be used, even though they might not be willing. And then occasionally I get that gem, that gem who's willing and able. Oh, you can do so many things with them. And we all want to like duplicate them, right? We get them. It's exciting. But in kids ministry, we can't only count on the willing and able. We've got to be willing to go after those who are willing and to go after those who are able, knowing that along the way, we're just getting people involved. But you'll never know unless you ask. That's why we do it. You know, I remember I had these grandparents who brought their grandkids every Sunday. And when I asked them to serve, they gave me all kinds of reasons. Uh, they were overcommitted in other areas of the church. Their health was such they didn't feel like they could really uh, get involved in the classroom. But all of a sudden, I made an ask one Sunday for scholarships to help kids go to camp. They wrote a check. I needed some help buying some new Bibles. They wrote a check. Anytime I needed anything financially, they wrote a check for it because they were able to do that. They were willing and able. And it only occurred because, well, I just kept asking. And so if you're in kids ministry, let me challenge you with this. You've got to keep asking for help. Why? Because that's how you find out where people are willing and able and where it comes together. Hey, this is Pastor Tony reminding you to keep your kids ministry fresh.